<coughs> G'day and welcome. I'm gonna go check my fire. Don't walk in there. Uh, I got two of these to finish up. If I can get those done today, we're rocking and rolling. Okay, so check my fire. My fire's looking okay, but my fire's looking like it's running out of wood. So I'm gonna have to grab me a piece of wood. I'm gonna grab. Uh, you're still wet. This wood's been dried for about. Uh, it's been cut for about two years, and look at how quick it uh, it dries out. Oh, there's no sand or dirt on this one at all. Gotta be careful. It's a piece of beach. Sliver City. Um, okay, here's what I got going on. Today I'm kind of building... Ro I, I do this. I procrastinate, 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 then I get fed up with myself. And I'm like, okay, screw it. Get it all done. I'm trying not to throw my camera in here. So, in. No, in. In the furnace. Ah, keep fingers out of flames. Note to self. Keep fingers out of flames. Yeah. Okay, so, morning graphic. If you're going to look away... Now's the time to do it. I know most of my audience, if you're following this stuff, but for some of you might just be stumbling on this. Uh, yeah, you are not might not be used to the graphicness you're about to see. But anyway, I got a bunch of carcasses and everything in here. So my beaver's thawing out. I'm going to see how he's doing. Let's see how my little raccoon's doing. But I also got uh, this glove I've been looking for all my life. And I will take this glove now. Um, I also got, I'll explain the plywood in a second, but I also got my otters in here and my meat. Uh, what I'm doing, I'm just giving them a, a checkup. I'm going to put them back outside, but I want to, I've, uh, already relocated. Oh, he's still freaking frozen, frozen, frozen. Okay, but he's thought out enough that, like, you don't want the hair pulling itself apart or anything. Get this, sorry, sorry. There we go. Because I want to at least get this one fleshed tonight if I can. I want to start that one tonight. Ooh, you're stinky. If anything, that's going to drip there. That beaver, it never froze. And look, he's all full of water and, and everything. Grease, water, everything like that. He never froze. So this one's going to be... Note to self, freeze everything before you, before you do it. Because I got him home before he froze. And it seems like this one's so greasy. So I'm going to have to get him outside without dripping him all over the place. I'm going to take him out in a bucket just in case but anyway here's my otters uh that was the first one i did i know it was because i didn't flesh it quite as well as i probably could have uh, but it's they're drying okay this one this otter is so greasy see i screwed up on the tail here i didn't quite flesh that as much as i i could have uh it's not bad though you see where the trap hit him right here that was a pretty hard hit there was a little pinhole there and uh when i get them out in better light um you can see where the trap hit here and hit here. That was, that was a good capture. I think that was the last one I caught. It was, yeah. That was that real nice, that old guy there, the old dude. <laughs> and, uh, yeah. And I didn't flesh him quite as well. Could have done better. This one was the bigger otter, right? But this one was really long. This one was really long. This is a nice otter. This otter was really nice. Uh, and then, of course, this was the otter I... <laughs> <laughs> we won't talk about that. We won't talk. Hopefully that's not going to ding me. And the little mink. He's coming along. He's probably almost dry to the touch. Oh, he's no, he's still. Um, little st Ooh, don't touch them, they stink. <laughs> uh, what I'm going to do with these guys today is I'm going to just give them their inspection. Wipe grease and oil off them. I'm going to drill holes in all the boards so I can hang them. Uh, the reason why I, I like this is fine if you can leave them inside, but you don't want to leave them in because they do stink up the house pretty quick. Uh, but I just want to check their general condition, how they're doing. Then I'll put them back outside. Like you see the the, the one on the end, he's still. You see the grease pouring off them there now. Now the goal is is um, maybe about a week before because these guys I pretty much skin them and I put them outside. So I want to make sure they're dry. Like I, they're going to be a certain amount of dry, but I want to make sure they're really dry when I take them off the board. Like, uh, this one's almost ready. This one, that one's, that's, that one's actually really good. I think I, maybe I fleshed this one better than I thought. I don't know why it looks like I didn't. But I guess because that froze or whatever, maybe. And that, that one, yeah, they're, they're, they're looking good, but they're, they're not quite dry. They take a while to dry. The beavers take a while to dry. That's why I want to get my ass in gear. What I've done, I want, I got to get the beaver... I got the beaver board out. I'll show you what I got, what I mean by beaver board. So I'll leave the raccoon hang. He's first, and if I get him done tomorrow, that's fine. I haven't even been on my trap run. I'm going to do the trap run later today. 
Uh, my goal was to flesh those guys early. They go out on the trap run. I can bring some of those with me. Get them. I'm not putting them in. I'm just going to set them up. But now oh, it's snowing that great. I got my sheet of plywood out there. I don't know if you guys can see it or not. There's my cat. There's blood all over the place from that beaver last night. I got to clean that beaver pelt too. Uh, but basically, I got the sheet of plywood there. I'm going to uh, triple it, cut it in three. And what I'm going to do is when I cut it in three, I'm going to take... You should be able to get six beavers per one sheet of plywood. But if I do it a certain way, you might be able to get one, two, three, four, five, 30 beavers for one sheet of plywood if I do it right. <laughs> Basically, I'm gonna be cutting them into rings and then support the rings with just cross pieces. I'll have to, I'll show you that in other videos. But if it works, it'll it work better than what I've got. I'll show you my beaver stretchers really quick. And there's a, a gazoo. So, and I might have a rescue mission to do today. This dog, somebody's dog broke a chain, broke their chain and has been running around. So I'm sitting in the snowbank. I called him, but he wouldn't come to me. Uh, so he lo he's looking pretty hungry and he was shivering. So I'm going to have to, if I asked around today, if anybody knew who he was. But anyway, let's get to these beaver. Yeah, I'll make a video on the beaver stretchers.